I have a slightly interesting setup here. I have a base class that has a constructor. The constructor requires one parameter. And then I have a derived class. I have to find nothing in here, though I could. The thing I want you to note is I have not defined uh, any constructors at all for derived. So when I try to instantiate an instance of derived, I, I receive an error from the compiler. It says derived, no appropriate default constructors available. And you would think, well, the compiler should provide a default constructor for us because we did not define any constructors. And that's what the C++ rule says. But there's a little caveat here. In order to construct a derived instance, we also must constri uh, construct its base counterpart or base part of it. And in order to uh, construct a base, well, we have to call this constructor. Since base defines one constructor, the compiler will not create the parameterless constructor for us. So basically, the compiler is complaining, saying, hey, if you want to instantiate a derived, then I need you to pass a parameter up here for the base constructor. So doing so is hopefully straightforward. The syntax is a little different than how we do this in Java and C Sharp, but the concept's still the same. Um, I'm going to make a derived constructor, and it could take parameters, and I could send those parameters up, but let's just hard code it for demonstration purposes. To invoke the base class constructor, I simply uh, call the base con class constructor directly like this. And let's pass 9 and put the curly brackets there. And now it builds, it succeeds, all is well. We can run it, get a black window, there's no output. Um, again, if I wanted to take a param here, I could easily pass param up there. And now to construct my derived here, I have to pass uh, an argument here. But 